All right, I just wanted to do this quick video this morning uh, of the difference between a Procharger Supercharger and a random rebuilt Procharger-ish Supercharger <laughs> off the internet. That's all I can say on that. So both of these are, well, this is an F1A, a uh, real strong unit, makes big power, you know, about what, 1100 some odd horsepower. Yep. A lot of guys use this in about the 900 horsepower range. Well balanced. Uh, yeah, yep, actually, so... What we have here is uh, there's a pinion shim is what this piece is. This is machined. I don't know if you can see it clearly, but this is a very precision machine little piece. This goes on the shaft uh, that uh, spaces this pulley, or excuse me, spaces the impeller correctly into what we call the impeller pocket. Uh, the impeller pocket is obviously a nice taper that's made to match the impeller. And the impeller itself, is a CNC built aluminum that's done on uh, one of our DMGs here in house. Uh, very nice unit. Uh, this this is like I said an F1A impeller, so a little bit older impeller. You know, we have some newer designs these days, but we're using this uh, because that's what this is supposed to be. Whatever that thing <laughs> is over there. So if you notice the impeller, this is like your gearbox case, and the impeller sits down in this pocket uh, real nicely here obviously there's no input shaft so you know but you you get the idea here you know impeller fits down in there so and then uh that spacer would go on the back side uh, these bolt holes are just for when the impeller gets removed that has nothing to do with the actual operation of the unit so here's one that came in that got rebuilt uh, by someone on the internet and the first thing you're going to notice is the Hardware store spacer shim thing? What? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, straight from probably Ace Hardware. Yep. You know, like torque converters normally have a stator that you can kind of control your tune up with, obviously, for your torque converter guys. This is stack height. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so if your impeller doesn't yeah, fit. If you're not, a, you're not perfectly happy with the, uh, the air gap, say, between your, say, your, your compressor housing and your impeller, you can do this. Control your stack height, and then you have a self-clearancing blade. Yeah. It's, it's a pretty custom piece, actually. <laughs> it is real custom. So, obviously, wherever this came from, it's cast. It's heavy as heck. It's got about a million blades on it, so I guess those blades help keep the airflow out of the compressor at that point. Yeah, for this one, it keeps all the aluminum in the air in the cooler. <laughs> it does. Uh, so it didn't really quite fit right, so what they do is it looks like they took a whiz wheel and just kind of changed the curve as needed. But it's not much of a curve, it's actually, I mean, you can <laughs> it's got see. It's a step and a divot. And <laughs> yeah, it's just, I mean, it's, it's, it's custom. It's, it's not nice. good. Uh, so anyways, yeah, this goes down in here. And what you might notice is that it's round here and then we're missing some pieces. And it does have whatever this super back thing is going on here. But this missing pieces is because Mind you, this is the same gear case. This is just one that's not destroyed. There. It's because it doesn't actually fit. So, so, to fix the fitment issue, we go to Ace Hardware and mm -hmm. they sell a blower, impeller, <laughs> pulley, shim kit. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> so anyways, that, that was behind it, which they tried to just barely space the impeller and yeah. float it somewhere in La La Land. Yeah, so we can like recreate it. So we can sit here and put our washer there because you see precision, obviously, not so much. Yeah, yeah. Let me put our impeller on top of there. And then uh, I, yeah. guess, I guess you create your own air gap. <laughs> can we slap our housing on top of it? Yeah. And uh, it's a pretty awesome piece. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, Some of the tightest clearance centrifugal blowers ever rebuilt yeah, by so. this one individual. Yep. Yeah. So there you go. Don't uh, don't give in to the hype on the internet. Yes, that probably was a cheaper rebuild than uh, or refurbish or whatever. Um, I would like to see the flow numbers on that impeller and see how that really works out. <laughs> very radial, very radial blade there. So it probably did move a lot of air. I mean, I'll give you oh, that. And, and, and generated a lot of heat. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and yeah. some aluminum dust. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was like a. So there you go. That is a that's a proper fitting, nice build impeller. Beautiful housing fitment. Check. Yeah, put that together and get it on there. 
There you go. Granted, she's not centered. There's no pinion, but you get the idea. <laughs> and, uh, Versus washer. So that's it. Legit? Not so much. Not so legit. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching.